In this example, we have a simple control system that uses a proportional controller to regulate the position of a robotic gripper. The problem states that the ro robotic gripper uses a proportional controller to control the plant. The plant, we have the transfer function for, the transfer function of the plant is 1 over s plus 10 squared. This represents the robot arm. When you give it an input command, we have the position as the output. If you develop a controller to regulate the position of the robot arm, we first need to create a feedback loop. So here we have R of S as our desired position. Here we have the current position. And the problem states that the controller uses a proportional controller which means that the command we give to the plant is simply proportional to the error between the current position and the between the desired position and the current position. The current position here, let's call that y of s. We can now close the loop. And we notice now that the error that we have here is multiplied by a constant k, and this becomes the input to the plant, and the plant then will respond to that command and update the position. We are interested in the steady state error for a step command R of R of S. The steady state error, in other words, is the final position that the robot reaches, the final value of Y of S, when a step is given to R of S. We know that the magnitude of that step is A, A units, so R of S, is a over s. If you now give a magnitude a of s as the input here, what is the final value that y reaches and how close is that to a? That difference is the steady state error. In order to calculate this steady state error, we need to first find the transfer function y over r. So y over r, let's write it here. It's very simple. We have the main line function here divided by 1 plus, because of the negative sign, the line function. So we have k over s plus 10 squared divided by 1 plus k over s plus 10 squared. And this simplifies to k over s plus 10 squared plus k. Now you notice that I didn't divide this by r of s because you can move r, r of s to this side of the equation and now replace that with the input command a over s. So y of s is this transfer function times r. r is a over s. If you now do the inverse Laplace of this function, we can find the temporal response of the robot's position to this step command. This is not what we want to do in this case. We just want to know what is the final value of y and how that compares to the given command that is a over s. If this is how the robot responds to a command r of s, the error can be simply defined as the desired position r of s minus the actual position of the robot r minus y of s, what we give to it and where it goes. So the error now becomes r of s, a over s, and the actual position is this expression here. We can now factor a of s, a over s, and this gives 1 minus k over s plus 10 squared plus k. The final value of the error here is simply the limit when s tends to 0 of 
e of s times s. Remember, the s is from the theorem. So this gives the limit when s tends to 0. This s cancels that one. a times 1 minus k s plus 10 squared plus k. When s tends to 0, we have the, the steady state error as a over a times 1 minus k over 100 plus k. If we now find a common denominator here, the final result is a. So the common denominator is 100 plus k. This goes up. 100 plus k minus k is 100 divided by 100 plus k. This is the final value, the final steady state error for an input command a over s. What does that mean? Well, let's analyze the result we got here. This is the input, so let's draw here time. And the input, the input is a step. So the step goes from 0 to a at time 0. And the robot responds. The robot responds, and that response is the inverse Laplace of this expression. If this is an underdamped, overdamped, or unstable system, at this point we don't know. But it could have any, any shape. Let's assume, for instance, that this is an overdamped system. So it would go up as an exponential. And it would eventually settle at a given value, and that value is the limit of this expression when s tends to 0 times s. The steady state error is this final value minus a, which is this difference here. This difference is the steady state error, how close the robot gripper gets to a. Now notice that this can never be zero. Even if k here is very large, this tends to a large number, but it can never be made zero. So the steady state error always exists in this case, and it decreases as we increase the proportional gain k. As we make the controller more aggressive, that is, the action that we send to the robot gripper is very large for a small error, the steady state error decreases. But as you'll see later, this can also make this exponential curve become underdamped and eventually unstable. But for now, the concept that we need to keep in mind is that this difference here between the step and the final value is the steady state error of the robot gripper.